Now, you only have to know a little bit about a few technologies to see where I'm going with this and understand why I'm so excited. 3D printing. You all know 3D printers, right? Those little boxes with the, uh, it goes around and it squirts out a little bit of plastic and a pattern and it builds up. So yeah, you can do some pretty cool stuff with that, right? With even just basic at-home 3D printer. And we know that we have the Ghost Gunner from Defense Distributed where you can actually, with a 3D printer, take metal out of a block of metal and create a lower receiver for an AR. We know that in machine shops, they have much more complicated machinery capable of similar things. We also know that in laboratories, we already have molecular level 3D printing. Yeah, the ability to rearrange molecules to our design. And as with all technologies, they get better, faster, smarter, more efficient, and cheaper. So combine that with these computers interfacing with your brain. The library of stuff. What is it? The encyclopedia of things on the internet that you can download files like the Liberator from Defense Distributed and 3D print a working firearm. Not only does this render centralized production obsolete in so many ways when it rivals the efficiency, and we're a long ways from that yet, and I think drone delivery is gonna be the dominant paradigm for quite a few decades before we get to the point I'm describing in which you will have a computer attached to your brain somehow, and we might not even have to insert it. Who knows, at some point the technology might get so good that it's able to read the brain waves from inside your brain with a device sitting just on the outside of your head that you can just pull off your ear like a Bluetooth device. And with that computer, you know what you can do? You can control a 3D printer. And that 3D printer might just be a molecular printer. And it might be small enough that it fits on the tip of your finger and is able to rearrange the molecules out of thin air and create whatever your mind can imagine. You are going to literally be able to think and zap things into existence. This is going to happen within your lifetime. If you got 10 good years left on your meat sack now, congratulations, you've made it. Longevity escape velocity. The idea from Dr. Aubrey de Grey, it's here. Our potential for life extension, our life expectancy is going up by more than one year per year. You might die in 10 years if medicine progresses, nothing in 10 years. But in 10 years, we will have pretty much cured all of the things that 80-year-olds die from in terms of organ failure, heart failure, brain degeneration. Maybe even at the cellular level. At the cellular level, we can manipulate the RNA, the DNA in our very cells, and the telomerase at the end of our chains of our, our genetics can be modified so that it doesn't run out so that we don't have aging as we know it today. We are on the verge of defeating aging itself. If you're watching this right now, and you got 10 good years left on your meat sack, and maybe a lot less, now hold on, buckle up. I stopped riding motorcycles when I figured this out. We are on the verge of a whole new beautiful experience. We're all about to be freaking wizards, literally just zapping things into existence. Defeating aging. This is going to happen within your lifetime. You are going to live to see this. And if you can imagine a world where we have the violence and injustice and pain and suffering and governments that we experience today at the same time as all this technology, good for you because I can. The idea of government in that reality is laughably obsolete. Thank <laughs> you.